This is a story of Victoria, a tale from the distant past. An era when spring remained, an age before stone castles. A time when a girl made friends with two crimson dragons. One of them was greedy, but the other was true and brave. Both swore for eternity to protect her beauty and grace. Everywhere they went, the girl would find and take the most beautiful flower growing in that place. Then one day came when the greedy one exclaimed, Grant me a gift, should you call yourself my friend. With honey-eyed tongue it begged the girl to braid a wreath with the flowers she had gathered, and the girl gladly agreed. With deft hands she wove a beauteous floral garland and placed it around the head of the greedy red dragon. Yet the dragon of courage said, No boon for me, no gift do I need. Our journey is incomplete, and there's much for us to see. And thus it departed alone, and flew to the mountains beyond, where it created Terra, a kingdom to call its own. The flowers that thrive here grow in no other land. The domain was deemed perfect to adorn the girl's fine hand. The wind told the greedy one of its kin's great findings. Speedily it flew towards Terra with the girl upon its wings. And the greedy drake was awed, dazzled by the native bloom. Resplendent shall be our crown when we take that flower from you. The good drake was speechless as greed pressed the demand. There was nothing left of spring but the blossom of its own land. Long battled the dragons, a feud of naught but woe, but greed emerged triumphant, the flower was then bestowed. Though the blossom suffered wounds and several petals were shed, it became the brightest jewel upon the greedy dragon's head. The girl secretly wept, watching her friends fight and bleed. Then a lion snuck to her, giving whispers that soothed her grief. And the lion told the girl that it had a very large pride, who would swear to protect her and vow to stay by her side. So the girl forgot her sorrows, and played with new-found friends, and no longer yearned for the drake who dwelt in distant lands. But the draken war barely ended when the lion pushed its claim. It seized the girl and roared, Put the crown upon my mane! The good drake had not healed, but valiantly it challenged the threat. Not for the crown it fought and killed, but the oaths it swore to kept. But the pride was ready for war and spilled the dragon's blood. It drenched the fertile earth and turned it to barren mud. The people grew cold and starved now that winter has arrived. They remain cowed and silent, though a question lingered in mind. Is it gone, our crimson dragon who lives beyond the peaks? Is it gone, O oh virtue's guardian, the one with no greed? Are you listening, Lakshini? Can you? And will you answer that question for us? <laughs> <laughs>